Welcome back. Uh, when my other video so rudely cut me off, which happens a lot with me, I was introducing the cat's tongue brush. The cat's tongue brush has a really narrow tip on it that is shaped like a cat's tongue. Um, I use this brush a lot for details and when I'm fine tuning, when I come into some of my finishing touches, um, like the ears, okay? It's nice to come in there, create a little eye, shape of the nostril, right? On all these horses. Um, it uh, is just a great brush. It's also, everything's backwards here, even my signature. Signature's backwards, right? When we're working on it outside, the whole image was reversed. And, uh, but I have to kind of see what I'm doing when I'm in the video myself, so I don't cut my head off. <laughs> um, I uh, cleaned up a lot of the water because it had gotten muddy. Um, I, re I uh, built the tree a little bit more. We had uh, lost some of the form. It kind of looked a little soft and like it was made out of clay instead of like rough bark. And these cottonwood trees have ridges. I mean, the bark is in ridges. You can actually grab them and they have deep crevices. So they're beautiful bark and they have a lot of character. So I came back with the darks and the beautiful gray tones and the warm tones. I never touched the um, leaves again, and there's some spots where the uh, underpainting, the value study shows through that burnt carmine, which looks a little red. I will put red dabs into a green tree. Um, it does give it atmosphere, and so I didn't feel like I needed to cover all that up. I like it. Um, the other thing I did was I brightened my lights, not brighten, but I lifted my lights, brought up the lights to the appropriate level um, and darkened some of the areas that needed to be darkened that we had lost. Um, one of the things I did is I have a fan brush, the shape of a fan, and I came in with the dark paint and I built this mare's mane and I had a wonderful time. Remember we talked about rolling the wrist, bringing in this mare's tail, and then doing it again in the reflection. Uh, this painting has four horses in it, but really it's got eight um, by the time you get the reflections in. So it was quite a lot going on here for a small painting, and it did take um, a lot of videos to demonstrate how to paint it all the way through. So I hope you learned um, along the way. And if you're just catching me here with this video, I'm Deborah Wilcox. Um, I'm an oil painter. I've taught for over 26 years. You can see my work on my website, DeborahWilcox.com. I'm on Facebook, Deborah Wilcox Fine Art. And these are at Deborah Wilcox painting videos on YouTube. And uh, there's quite a bit of uh, videos on there, and uh, you have learned along the way. <laughs> You'll see how I've learned along the way as far as um, using the video camera. And um, so, and we do, we address, um, we started with the sketch in oil, values in oils, coming into color about video number three, starting with our darks moving into our half tones, leaving our lights for last. Uh, we talk about the temperature of color. This particular painting is a warm painting, even with all the blues, because those are warm blues. Cerulean blues are warm blues. Um, so it has a warmth throughout the whole painting. There's, there's nothing particularly cold or a cool color in here except for maybe up in here through those canyons um, so it's a warm palette it's a warm painting uh, I'm still trying to come up with a name for it so if you've got any ideas I'm totally open to whatever pops into your head um, we talk about composition composition is uh, in the, when we're sketching we're laying in the composition which is laying the items 
really, that need to be in the finished painting. Whatever I want in this painting, I'm going to sketch it in in the very beginning. I'm going to work out any issues I have in the beginning, because if I don't work it out, then it will haunt me, uh, most everybody else too, all the way through a painting. Like if you're not sure where to place a horse or a placement, and you keep moving it around, after you started painting, it gets muddy and it looks overworked. Um, we talk about um, the composition with the sketching in, but also this is um, a lovely circular composition. Okay, it's got this beautiful circular feeling with these horses and their reflection. Okay, and when we talk about um, the composition, uh, what you're drawn to right off the bat in this painting is this, this mirror right here. And part of that is you create that as an artist where you want the viewer's eye to grow. And I create that with bringing my darkest darks and my lightest lights together in the area where I want you to look. Okay, and then we go this way. We tend to come down here. Okay, follow around. The other thing that's nice about this composition um, is that we're drawn into the painting, and we get drawn into this painting by this background. And way over here, we realize there's a canyon that we can go through and end up back here. And you can imagine the horses, you know, traveling across this plains into those canyons and back into there. Um, I wanted to suggest a story, a mood, um, and the mood, you know, the story was there with the sketch initially. When we bring in the values, which is the shadowing, we start to get the idea of, you know, where the sun's coming from and where the shadows are, but when we moved into these, this palette, this beautiful palette, for one, we have what's called complementary colors. We have these blues and these beautiful uh, sienna colors. Um, and they are so complementary, meaning it doesn't mean they, they, they complement each other in the traditional sense. It's their opposite on the color wheel. And complementary colors I really like together. Um, but it just ends up being a beautiful painting of these corals, and blues and violets and then we have the accent of the green and the and the leaves but they're not taking over we have to watch our greens greens can be overpowering and they can take over um so anyway uh besides i i don't know but anyway the fan brush the dark paint come in and put in the tail put in the mane put in the reflection uh, and I also wanted to make sure that I, I got in the, um, the dappled light on this. There's beautiful dappled light, and I'm drawn to dappled light. So I made sure that the dappling was showing up on my mirror and on this baby, right? And then th the dappling that shows up in the water itself. And honestly, the water is just a, a kind of a muddy watering hole. And it shows up across the dark reflections that the sky is being reflected and the tree leaves are being reflected over here. Um, so it just ends up being um, a very pleasing, a very calm, peaceful, warm, uh, gentle setting and painting and um, I enjoyed painting this I hope you enjoyed watching the process and um, if you have any questions I'm happy more than happy to answer uh, your questions if there's something you would like to, sh to have me demonstrate uh, anything from portraits flowers dogs um, big landscape skies you know big storm skies, whatever it is, sunset, um, just let me know. I'm always looking for what people are interested in to, uh, 
which should be demonstrated. And there is a process. Um, this painting is for sale. If you're interested, you can um, find me. I would uh, private message me on Facebook, and that's Deborah Wilcox Fine Art on Facebook. Private message me um, through there, and or give me your contact information. Anyway, let's talk to each other. Um, I ship within the United States. I can frame it also. Um, so if you have questions, ask them. Feel free. Um, so I don't know right now. I guess I'm still calling this watering hole because I don't know what else to call it. I really like it um, myself, which you know what? That sounds weird, but that doesn't always happen. And if you're an artist, you know that. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So I'm going to bring this up just a little closer. Not to me, but into this painting. Here you can just get a little bit better view of this. And like I said, it's reversed of what the, the composition is flipped. So, Take a few minutes and study it all you want. Like I said, go back and watch the other videos, 1 through 11, and watch the process if you're curious. well. Be creative. See you next time.